To convert QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online, first you want to create a separate QuickBooks Online account. I will put a link in the description for a video that shows you this step-by-step -step process on how to create a new QuickBooks Online account. And you want to follow that video because uh, you want to get a special discount that QuickBooks gives you when you go from desktop to online. And I, sh I talk about the specific steps on that. But once you have the account set up, you're going to go into your QuickBooks uh, desktop file and you're going to click on Control-1 on your keyboard. That's going to open the product information page. And then you're going to hit control B as in boy, Q as in QuickBooks, and then click OK. The minute you do that, you're going to get a pop-up screen uh, showing you the next steps to transfer the data from the QuickBooks desktop file into QuickBooks Online. You have to have QuickBooks desktop installed in your computer in order to be able to do that transfer. Then you're going to click on Get Started, and you're going to click on Bring All Company Data, everything and then click on continue. And then you get to choose if there's inventory, if you wanna bring the inventory information, and then you wanna go back to sort of the beginning of time where you were using inventory. So you wanna bring in the inventory with the new inventory evaluation method called FIFO. If you don't know what that is, you may wanna to talk to your accountant about that, but long story short, you probably wanna pick the beginning of the year or the beginning of last year so you can bring a clean full year. Then we're gonna click on next and then uh, it's going to ask you whether or not you already have a QuickBooks Online account. And again, as I said at the beginning of the video, you're going to create an account separately, not through this screen, separately. And I'll put a link in the description on how to create the account. So they're going to click on Yes, Sign Me In. Click on Continue. And then you're going to put your current user ID and password for the account you just set up. You will probably have to verify with your phone number, with your cell phone, the verification code and then you go through the login process. Once you log in, uh, it's gonna ask you which account would you like to uh, override with whatever information that's in there with the QuickBooks Online information. In this specific case, I only have one company file that's active, but if I had multiple, multiple ones would show. And it actually gives you the, ability, um, the option to create the new company file here. However, you do lose what I talked about in the previous video on uh, setting up a new account with a better discount, especially if you're converting from desktop. So I'm going to pick the file that's here and then click on export. And then essentially, it's just wait. Okay, You're going to wait for QuickBooks to do the entire transfer. And you should be able to get an email within uh, anywhere between an hour and a couple hours confirming that the file is ready to go. And once the file is ready to go, you can actually log in into QuickBooks Online and compare uh, the data sets to make sure that uh, the information came in pretty complete. So we're going to wait for that to finish, and then we're going to take a look at QuickBooks Online to see how the data came over. If you don't wait for the email to show you, um, to, to let you know that the company file has been completed and you try to log into QuickBooks Online, you're going to get an error that says, hey, you got to wait, we're transferring the information over. So just be patient, wait for that email. And once the email comes in, you can then go back into QuickBooks Online. All right, I got the email that says, congratulations, your data is now in QuickBooks Online. If I go and log back into QuickBooks Online, I should be able to put uh, my credentials here. and. Uh, and now I should be able to see all the information from QuickBooks Desktop in here. Best way to tell is to actually run a report. So I'm going to go into the reports section. Actually, let me go back for a second. When you first log in, let's just go back for a second. When you first log in, you're going to go into um, this page called the Migration Hub. And it's actually going to tell you all the things that could, could be a potential error or differences between the stuff that was in QuickBooks Desktop and QuickBooks Online. Long story short, stuff doesn't always migrate perfect. I mean, this thing is off by a couple of dollars. That's not a big deal. This thing is also off by a couple of dollars. Not a big deal. You probably need to work with an accountant to make adjustments and just make it match the tax return or that sort of thing. Uh, there's a button here to contact an expert. That's basically to work with the technical support team in QuickBooks. That's not very useful unless you're actually paying a professional to do this. Uh, if you click on full migration details, you can actually download a... Um, a spreadsheet that kind of gives you um, an idea. Let me let me zoom this in, make it a little bit easier to read. Uh, that gives you an idea of all the stuff that came in, accounts that came in, uh, and kind of the difference, you know, what, what could have been missed. Again, this stuff is not that useful. It just gives you 
a general idea more or less of the stuff that doesn't doesn't match. And you definitely want to keep records of this uh, because again, uh, the conversion is not always perfect. Sometimes it is perfect, but especially when there's inventory and when there's payroll, where there's some complicated type of transaction, stuff doesn't come in perfect. But that's long story short, that's what this migration hub page gives you. It gives you that piece of information. So definitely save it, print it, because sometimes you really can't uh, go back to it. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and click on reports and then click on profit and loss. And then I'm going to click on uh, the date range and click on all dates. That's always how you compare it. You compare all dates, accrual, run report, and then essentially you want to look at your top revenue and you want to look at all the way down your net income. And that's how you compare the differences. So now I'm going to switch over to QuickBooks Online so we can look at this uh, top revenue for 411, 809, 53, and then this uh, net income of 106, 249.17. So now in QuickBooks Desktop, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go to Reports, Company Financial, Profit and Loss Standard. I'm going to do Dates, All Dates, and make sure that I am not in cash in accrual. And essentially, that's what that we're doing here. We're comparing the revenue. 411, 809.53, and then all the way down the net income, which is 106.12. Uh, so again, uh, it's not always going to be perfect, especially when you have inventory and, uh, and payroll and some complicated transactions that don't transfer over. It's going to be up to you to figure out what next steps you're going to take if it's not perfect. Again, you probably want to involve an accountant, a professional, to help you make that square up or at least get the beginning balances going so you can use QuickBooks Online uh, moving forward. So that's, the, that's the, the conversion process. Make sure you do watch the first video that's in the description that explains uh, how to create the new account. And you're going to use my email to let me know hey, I convert it so I can get you a 50% discount when you go from QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online. On the monthly subscription, you get 50% for the first 12 months. So only uh, resellers, uh, people like me, can offer that. So if you are going to convert from desktop to online, make sure you email me, let me know about the conversion process, give me the license number of QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Desktop, and I'll have somebody from Intuit override the pricing and give you 50% for 12 months of QuickBooks Online. Anyway, I hope you found that useful, and I'll see you on the next one.